Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back here in Mosquito Lake. Yes, I did leave the Winding Rivulet for a reason. One of my viewers expressed some interest in knowing where to find Pike here at Mosquito Lake. Now, honestly, as I've been playing this, I haven't really sought out Pike specifically. That's usually my buddy Delacaba's favorite fish to go for. He loves to fish for Pike and Muskies, let me tell you. I usually go for catfish. That's usually my thing. But there are some places that I have found quite a few, mu not muskies, but pike to bite. The only thing is right at the moment we've got a few issues with the weather. Now back at the Winding Rivulet it's been sunny and warm, which means finding Xander is pretty much not going to be an easy task. So I kind of went, went ahead and left there because it doesn't look like the weather's going to change for a little bit. And I come here, and of course it's raining, which is not the best pike weather in the world because they like the sun to being out. But since I'm here, I thought for a little while and see if the weather might change, we might go ahead and fish for some common carp, at least until the weather gets a little better. Now right over here, I'm going to show you this first anyway guys, right over here is an excellent pike fishing spot. And yes, I have fished here many times for other things, but this is where you're going to catch them guys. One of my favorite spots, and if you hold on a minute while I take a, a deep, little bit of a break here because my comfort level is in the toilet. But yeah, this is a really good spot. Let me show you some of the others that are good. This is a good spot. Right over here, there's a lot of weeds too. Also a good spot. Right over here, next to the limbs and trees, another good spot. And off the dock, very good as well. Because the dock is good. You've got weeds on this side and you've got weeds on this side. And you will catch them, guys. And sometimes you can even get them if you throw out towards the witch's hole right here where the deep part is. But out of all of them, this is probably my favorite just for pike. It seems like I can't come here even if I'm fishing for something else and not get one. But right at the moment, the weather is kind of meh for pike. I mean, we'll give it a shot, but I can tell you once you're not going to get anything until morning. So we might as well go ahead and set this up. And I'm going to go ahead and get some ground bait ready here, guys, because it has been a little while. We're going to go ahead and craft up. Oh, not that. I always get that wrong there. Let's get it here. I think we're going to go with some Crucian Gibble Carp mix. Oh, I thought I had sunflower oil. Do not have sunflower oil. Not, not cool. All right, guys, I'll be back. i got to go get some. All right, guys, we're back, and we are actually here on the dock this time because it's already bright enough to start fishing and seeing if maybe we might have a little luck with catching the the pike. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to keep my feeder rods out, but first let's go ahead and get those set up for the carp. All right, guys, it is daytime now, and we're going to go ahead and get these rods set up over here to catch some carp. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this one up first. Right now, I believe the uh, sinkers are not really arranged appropriately. They're still set up for the winding rivulet. I'm going to go ahead and put these in place. Much smaller hook, probably. Yeah, two is a little on the large side. So we're gonna stick with grasshoppers for now. See what we get here with that. There's usually a lot of chubs here too, so maybe we can get lucky and get us a large chub. All right. 
Got that set up, and now let's, hmm. Let's change that first of all. I might stick with the barley, I don't know yet. We'll keep it the same, I think. All right. That's good to go. Let's get back over here. We are going to go ahead and see if we can't get us a pike here, guys. All right. Go ahead and make sure I've got everything in place. I think I'm going to probably use my uh, my one rod here. This is a pretty strong rod, guys. This is honestly a bit on the higher level. <laughs> but I want to be sure I catch one. This... I think the line may be a little on the heavy side here, so we're going to tone that down considerably. We're going to go with the extra silk here. Change this to a steel. Because, let me tell you something, those pike will bite right through fluorocarbon liters. As far as lure, I'm trying to decide what I want to start off with here, guys. Thinking about doing the funky metal, since it's a sunny day, this thing is a killer when it comes to these guys. They absolutely love it. Looks like we've got a bit of an emergency nearby. <laughs> A little bit of siren there, but anyway, we're going to cast this thing as close to these weeds as we can. Over here is a good spot too, but we got to be real careful of snags. That's the only thing you really got to worry about. Hopefully with 17 pound test line, even if we get a snag, we won't have to, to break our whole line. We'll just have to break the, the leader. But I really don't want to lose another one of those lures. We're going to go ahead and do this. Keep doing the jig step. Remember the retrieve has got to be set to 20. It's still pretty early in the day, so... More gets close to dusk or dawn these guys are sometimes grab it right off the dock so I gotta be prepared for anything travel on this side Ooh, sounds like we got a little activity next door. Let's go check it out, guys. Mm. See if he's truly interested. Check it out anyway. Yep. Old grasshoppers. Ah, nice big roach. I'll take that. Yeah, the grasshoppers are so popular. It's just so hard to get them. <laughs> yeah, that was... Many of my viewers were nice enough to donate a number of them to me. Because I'm not at a high enough level to capture them. And you can't buy them until you get to a certain particular map. I 
Yeah, I think I'm going to bring this in a little bit and just play around a little bit, guys. But I've caught a lot of them just by dragging it back and forth like this in little figure eights. I think I saw one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> there you go. I mean, yeah, he's pretty tiny, but just right off the dock there, guys. Just maybe mess around close to the dock here for a minute. See if find another one that might be interested. Yeah, they hang out by these logs and all these weeds right here all the time. Well, I'm not so sure I'm going to get them to do it again. It's so soon anyway. Oh, come on, guys. If I would record, I would have caught three of them doing it this way. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. This does work, though. Trust me, guys. You saw me get the one. They're going to be a pain in the butt, I guess. Alright, let's try over this direction. See if we can't get one over here. We've got to be careful, though. This is Snag Central. <laughs> you might do better with a bait casting rod over in this area because it's a little more accurate. If you have the skill level for that. There we go. We got something this time. Again, it's not very big, whatever it is. But maybe it'll be a little pike. Yeah, that's a little pike. There's a bunch of these little pikes out over here. Now, if you're in an early level, like a level, you know, 3 to 10, and you're using the gear at that time, this, or especially if you're using ultralight, fighting these little guys is going to be like fighting one of the big monsters. So you'll be in for a treat. Yeah, this is a, this is a heavy duty rod. This is also a heavy some heavy line. Not super heavy, but I'm not going to feel the little guys as much. Kind of hope we can lay into one good size one here, so we can see what a real fight is. Go ahead and give this another shot here. I think I'm going to change this though. Let's see if they can see the one with the red tip on it a little better. Maybe they're just not going for the blue one today. It's hard to say. You can catch quite a few of them off of one with the red tip. I would say the red tip one's the second best one. Usually the blue one's the best. Just do kind of everything the same way, and it should be all right. There we go. Now we've got something. Let's see what we got here. Another. No, it's not too small. That's a definite. He would definitely be a fight for. A lighter rod, that's for sure. I think the ultralight record I saw was less than 800 grams for pike. Maybe that was a weekly record, but still. Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. Now we have got us something. Now we've got us something a little heftier. Oh. Okay. He is much better than what we've been pulling in. Let's check this guy out. Nice. Nice, guys. There you go. That's a decent sized pike. He'll bring in some cash. I'm telling you, with this heavier rod over in these two areas, you're going to catch them. But also, I'm going to tell you, if you don't have anything heavy enough, you could get spooled. Got to be real careful, guys. I'm going to see. I'm thinking about checking out hmm, another lure here, guys, if I can find it. Where the heck is it? I think I might have stuck it on another one of my rods here. Let me check it out here. Alright, this is my bait casting rod, and the one I was talking about, guys, is the blue icon fat. And this thing. I've been told by one of my viewers, Zeus Plays, that this is an excellent, excellent lure for catching pike, and he is very right. So I thought I'd go ahead and give him a shout out there, guys. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try here, see if they might go for it. Try it over here in our little spot over here. And again, guys, this is a pretty heavy-duty rod. I'd say this is, a, this is actually a level 18 rod and a level 18 reel. So you will probably need to be careful over here, guys, is all I can say. But the fishing style is still the same. I still just... Aha, there we go. Well, Zeus, you are right. It works very well. There's another little pike. Awesome. Let's see if we can't get us a bigger one. Yeah, that's one thing you got to get out of is that, you know, the habit of casting in the same spot over and over. Sometimes you need to kind of cast around. And if you haven't been catching anything when you've been casting in one spot and then you move, a lot of times that's when you'll get something. You got to share the love, people. Share the love. I think I'm going to fiddle around with this one, too. <laughs> I always like to give it one more try here. And I'll be damned. There you go. Love it. I love it. Love when it works. Don't you just like when things work out the way you want them to? Well, guys, it looks like the weather took a bit of a turn for the worse. And it's raining cats and dogs. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to basically go over this briefly so that you guys can see some of the other locations that are quite good here. The only problem is it is getting to be dark. But this is another really good spot to fish for the, ba the pike. But I'll tell you, honestly, I do better if I'm actually out on the boat and casting towards this stick up. So, with the rain, that's going to change conditions considerably, unfortunately. So, I don't know that I can show you right now. I 
And over here is another good spot if it's sunny. And if it's not sunny, like right now, this is all good places to fish for carp. Especially right in here and right over there. You throw it way out there. In fact, I might even, I tell you what, just earlier today I had been fishing right at this very spot and it was raining at that time. It was either raining or cloudy and I caught a pretty good sized carp. I think it was almost six kilograms. So I might go ahead and throw that up here just so you can see that fight because it's definitely worth it. Okay, looks like we've got something here, and it is very big. Okay. Come on, big fella. Oh, wow. This is a, this is a big fish. This isn't no Mickey Mouse rod, guys. This is a big fish. I would have swear this is a catfish the way he's I just gotta be patient with him keep working him keep working him Jeez. Okay, guys, this might take a while. <laughs> All right, guys, five minutes. I've been fighting this guy. Five minutes, and this is like, honest to God, like. 17 pound test something like that and he is still giving me a battle I managed to gain some ground on him though he took it out about halfway and then I've been able to slowly get him to come back in just been having to give him a little bit of leeway give him his way but I am keeping this thing up because if I don't he gets off of there, I am going to be one angry camper, I'm telling you. I've got to see this fella. This is probably going to be the biggest one I've, I've pulled out of Mosquito Lake. I have fought them, but not like this. I did have one thing that was really good size on there, and he got off the line. That one, I may never know what it was, but I think it was a pike. This is a great spot, guys. All right, here he is, guys. He looks big. Boy, he looks big. I'm going to have to get the net for sure on him. Wow. Wow. 8,552 he is almost six kilograms not bad at all guys that is definitely a picture picture worthy <laughs> that is a nice fish yeah that's the biggest carp I've caught out of here so far well <laughs> that was interesting Unexpected and interesting. I was just fishing for gibble carp here, guys. <laughs> yeah, he was a big fella. I tell you, I didn't know if I was going to get him in or not. Even with the gear I had, I was like, wow. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a quick gander down through here. This is another good spot. See those weeds over there? Off to the left, you can just kind of see them. Let me go ahead and get 
it may be too dark to do this I don't know but we're going to use one that shows up a little bit better I'm going to try casting this out here just to see if anything has any interest in it at all but since it's nighttime eh, chances are pretty unlikely but we're going to give it a shot sometimes you get a late night pike I've gotten plenty of them and there we go I don't know that it's a pike but I do know that just about everything goes for that blue lure especially in the rainy days Let's see what we got here guys I think it might be a perch though eh, not a bad perch Eh, it's not looking like I'm going to get much of anything here, guys. And I was afraid of that. We're not really going after carp right now. This episode's just about over. But I wanted you to see the spots that I really like to fish. Where's that opening here? This is another really good one. And if you fish right over there, I don't know if you see, there's that dock. This is just the other side, so you're going to get a lot of action over here as well. And, I mean, I will throw this out here, but I'm pretty much sure there's no, not going to be anything biting it. But it's a little too dark, too much rain. Happen to have one that has supervision, maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll get lucky, but I don't think so. Well, anyway, right here is really a good spot for carp as well. This is a great place to throw the ground bait because it's kind of like a little bit secluded. So you can usually do very well. If this was sunny and I was casting along here, I'd probably no doubt without my... Without a doubt in my mind, I'd be catching pike like crazy. But, oh wow, oh that's a snag. It's just a snag. I got all excited for nothing. Darn. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode. And hopefully we can get a little bit better stuff going on this time. But at least we did get some pike early on. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight. Cast far and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.